Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss the game that you can access in the simulation of Build an Atom. Let's discuss the first game. Okay, so you are asked to find the name of the element. How to find it? Of course, you should check the number of protons. How many protons? Five. Now, find the element that has the number of proton 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And then, is it neutral atom or ion? How to find it? Yeah. Look at the number of protons and electrons. If the element has the number of proton 5, so to become the neutral atom, to have the number of electron 5 as well. Are they same? 5 and 5? Yes. So the element has the same number of proton and electrons. It means the element is neutral atom. Let's check. Okay, let's go to the next for the other example. Now, in here there is atomic structure and then you are asked to find the element. Use the same way. Look at the number of proton. The number of proton is 1. So now, find the element with the number of proton 1. Yeah, this is one. One proton. H has one proton. Is it neutral atom or ion? Look at the number of proton and electrons. Are they the same? No, yeah, because it has one proton and two electrons. It means the element H is ion. Check. Okay, good. Let's move to another game. Okay, now you are asked to find the mass number. Do you remember how to find the mass number? Yeah, to find the mass number, you have to add the proton number and neutron number. How many proton? One. How many neutron? Zero. So, what is the mass number? One plus zero equals one. Yeah, good job. What is the total charge? What is the total charge? Do you remember what total charge is? So, what is proton? Proton is the positive charge of the atom. Electron is the negative charge of the atom. If an element has the number of proton 1 and the number of electrons 2, what is the total charge? Two electrons minus two, one proton plus one. So the total is minus one. Let's check. Yeah, minus one. Let's discuss another game. Playing this game, let's take a look at this, everyone. So you are asked to fill this in. What is this? This one represents the mass number. What is this? This is the chemical symbol. What is this? Atomic number or proton number. Okay, mass number, atomic number or proton number, and chemical symbol. How to get mass number? 
Yeah, by adding the proton number and neutron number. The number of proton plus the number of neutron. That's the mass number. What about this? What is this? This shows you if the element is neutral atom or ion. It is written zero, so it means the element is neutral atom. Let us calculate the mass number. Mass number, proton number plus neutron number. How many proton? One. How many neutron? One. So the mass number is Let's check. Good. Let's go to the next challenge. Look at this. You are asked to find the mass number. Mass number. Proton number plus neutron number. 16 plus 16. 32. Okay. Before we check this, look at this. What does this mean? Minus 2. Yeah, look at the number of protons and electrons. The difference is 2, right? It has more electrons. So, it is written minus 2. Okay, let's check for the mass number. Good, let's go to the next. Okay, now you are asked to fill this in. Is it neutral or ion? Let's check the number of protons and the number of electrons. Are they the same? No, yeah? The difference is 2. Is the element has more proton? Or more electrons? Yeah, more electrons. So, since the difference is 2 and it has more electrons, so it is minus 2. Let's check. Good. Next. You are asked to fill this in. Is it neutral or ion? Look at the number of proton and electrons. Two electrons, one proton. So, the ion is negative. What is the difference in the number of proton and electrons? Yeah, one. Since the element has more electrons, so it is minus one. Let's check. Good. Next. Now, you are asked to fill the proton number or atomic number. Proton number, how many proton? One, two. Let's check. Good. So, the chemical symbol is H-E. Good. Good job. Excellent. Now, let's try the last game. You are asked to fill the electronic structure in here with protons, neutrons, and electrons based on this. Okay, first proton. How many protons? Two, yeah? So let's add two protons in the nucleus. And then, how many neutrons? How to find neutrons? Yeah, mass number minus proton number. Three minus two, it is one. How many electrons? To find the number of electrons, first take a look at this. This one is zero. It means the element is neutral. So the number of electrons is equal to the number of proton. How many proton? Two. So it has two electrons. Let's check. Good. Next. Okay, you are asked to fill this in based on this electronic structure. 
first, let's fill the proton number. How many proton? One. Good. Now, how many neutron? Zero. No neutron in here. So, what is the mass number? Mass number. Proton number plus neutron number. One plus zero. So, the mass number is one. What about this? The charge of the element? Yeah, look at the number of proton and electrons. The difference is zero, so keep this zero. Good, next. Now, find the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons. How many protons? Eleven. How many neutrons? How to find neutrons? Yeah, mass number minus proton numbers. 23 minus 11. 12. Find the electrons. Look at this. This is zero. It means the element is neutral atom. So, the electrons is the same as proton number. Electrons is 11. Good. Next. Same way. Proton number 10. Mass number neutrons plus protons 21. And this, look at the number of protons and electrons. They are same, so it is zero. Check. Good. Next. Okay, now look at this. Hydrogen atom has the proton number of one. So, let me add one. And then how many neutrons? Mass number one. Proton number one. Neutron equals mass number minus proton number. 1 minus 1, 0. It has no neutron. What about electrons? Look at this. This is written plus 1. So it means the atom has more proton. One extra proton. So if the proton is 1, so the electron is 0. Good. Because in the number of proton and electrons is 1, it has more proton. If the proton is 1, so the electron is 0. So, this element or this atom has no electron. Good. That's all for the game. If you need more information or if you have any question, don't forget to contact your teacher. Bye-bye, everyone.